then I go to Katua. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a working drawing template. And we'll quickly just add a logo to it. So if you go to Canva, you can just type in logo in your search bar there on Canva. So logo. And after you you can look at a cool logo that you might like um, will fit your design. I like something with an image like this infinity one. So I'll just grab this one and then you customize it. And most of you have used Canva. If you haven't, it works pretty much like a Google Doc or a Word Doc. So you'll have text boxes. So if I just click on the text box there, I can delete that and you can put your name or your surname in that. And uh, maybe we'll just stretch this a little bit longer on both sides to fit my oh, um, uh, and then maybe Creative Studio you can change that to Design and Visual Communication. Um, so if I double click on that block there, I can just put in Design and visual communication now when you want to download um, when you want to download this you just click on the share button and make sure you download it as a jpeg so if you go here to the download option here on the drop down box you get um, it by default, it will open in PNG, but just change that to JPEG. Or, uh, yeah, JPEG is probably the best, I think, for for opening this later in um, Onshape. So when you download that, then you open your Onshape document. Now, we're going to create a custom drawing template that you can use for all your um, working drawings or presenting your designs. Um, once you've created this, template you can always just open it again and use it for different layouts or different th um, designs so I'll just quickly create a document and then I uh, will call it working drawing template and then you're gonna create a document so we're not gonna draw we're just creating a working drawing template for this thing so we'll it opens up in a part studio but we'll go to the plus sign here on the bottom insert new tab so you just grab that and then create drawing and then here this is quite important you have to make sure this window is set right so you're going to click on custom template you're going to click on iso you're going to leave that in english we'll make it a3 we have to use the third angle orthographic projection, which is this one. And then on this side, you're just going to change that 6 to a 0 and the 4 to a 0. And then I don't like their title block, so we're not going to include the title block. So I chose custom template, I chose ISO, I chose A3, I chose third angle proje um, orthographic projection. I made those two blocks both 0 and I didn't include their title box. Now I've got um, a title page that will open or a working drawing page that will open just with a border. And then we're going to put in the title block. So you can grab your line tool, which is just there. And then sketch approximately 10 mils from the bottom. And then press escape. And then I'll grab the line tool again. Um, I normally like to... I went a little bit over there, but we'll delete that in a little while. So the first block will be your name. Press escape, use the note tool, and you put your name in there. Uh, I didn't switch it to caps lock. Remember, everything needs to be in capital letters. Then we're going to draw a new block. That will be the title of the drawing. So whatever you're going to put on this page. So we'll just go back to there. We'll put name and then title and scale and date so name title let's put the date next and we'll draw the line tool again then one block for scale you can adjust these blocks as you like 
two and then the last one will be linking the joys together so if you've got 10 joints you're going to write in this last block one of 10 two of 10 as they progress so the first one i'll just put the titles in here so that you guys know so you're going to put your name in not name and then the next one we'll just click on the title and then the next one will be the date and i lost my no tool there so the next one will be the date the next one will be the scale so the scale will pop up when you insert um, images just remember in new zealand we only recognize um, one to two one to five one to ten and so on. i'll show you guys how to put that in line in a little while and then this one will be so name date title scale date and this one will be um, you can say drawn in, in on shape so or you can just have um, the autographic symbol I'll show you in another video how to get, you can just copy and paste that in. And then I'll just name this one, one of total. Because you're going to say like if it's 10 drawings, one of 10, 10 of two. And then you can see mine is not lined up. So you really want to have them line up. So if you click on this one, you can move it a little bit up. Uh, that one should be a little bit up as well. We want them all to be in line so it just looks untidy when your drawings uh, control z and then i'll just this one then this one if you want to make it in one line you just pull the box a little bit bigger the same with this one it's always good to have just all your wording in one um, drawing now i want to put in that um, logo that i made so i'm going to go to plus import and then you're going to go to your i just save it to my downloads it makes it easy grab that open that so you first import it into onshape and then you can open it as a drawing so it says here the um, upload was completed so if i click on that little icon there and this can be your own design where you want to put it so i normally just put it in this corner and um so i made it really small I'll just control Z that and I'll do it again. Insert image. There's my image. I'll click on this corner and then just drag it a little bit to there. And that can be my little logo. And then press escape. And then I can just move it into space there. I like to organize the stuff really good. Now, when I have done this, in order to be able to open it again, you have to go right click on this on the drawing, export. And then this is important. You can give it a name. Let's call it uh, Working Drawing Template, WDT. The format should be Working Drawing Template. So it will sometimes open in PDF, but change that to WDWT. And this is important. You have to, it will go just to a download. You have to click on Download and Store in File in a new type. And then you export it once you've done this it will be available so i'll show you guys now um it's opened it here because i asked it to open in a template and then if i go open a random new um on shape document say i'm drawing something and i want to create the working drawings for it so i've sketched away here um I'll just call this uh, for the video. Uh, just make that F capital letters. And then create that for the video. And then what I'm going to do is I'll see if I can open this. So if I go and I've sketched and I want to create a drawing of my sketch, I'll just go to create drawing, click on. Um, test one the auto drawing that i've created 
okay that and then it will open it and I can use that so you just have to I'll just show that again I might have gone a bit too fast over that bit so I went to create drawing and here I just go create it by me and then it will come up with what you've created um, so we'll just click on that one that's the one that we just created and then you okay that one and then it will open that one then when you've got sketches you can use this import tool and you can import sketches from this file or from other ones and you can choose what view you want that's all for this video now me see you guys later